We need a youth-friendly president who will recognize the fact that Nigerian youths need just a little touch. I will need somebody that cares for the citizens because these present leaders now, they just value themselves and people around them. Elections are around the corner. We are here on the streets of Abuja to ask Nigerians what qualities they expect from the next president. I am Oge Udebunam, Premium Times. Nigerians are optimistic. They are hopeful to get a president that will symbolize, identify, represent, signify, defend, and aggregate the collective nuances of the generality of the good people of Nigeria. A president that will make this country politically stable, economically viable, socially, religiously, ethno and historical environmentally harmonious. We need a president that will serve as a quaint essential symbol of our corporate aspiration, our unity, our togetherness, our cohesion, and, and our corporate dreams. We need a youth-friendly president who will recognize the fact that Nigerian youths need just a little touch. We need somebody that is so patriotic enough that we carry everybody along, irrespective of your religion, political affiliation, and what, what have you. And who can turn around the economy of Nigeria for better. I will need somebody that cares for the citizens. Because these present leaders now, they just value themselves and people around them. Because this is a political season. So now, whenever we vote them, they will not pay attention to us, we that have voted them. They will always pay attention for themselves, their families and people around them, which is very bad. So we are not expecting such leaders in the next session. First and foremost, the quality that the Nigeria president or the incoming Nigeria president should possess is that one, he should, he should be a man of national leader, that is a man that will unify the country, a uh, commitment that is sincerity, a man that is sincere, that will uh, treat every, every issue that comes to his table with equity without any favor, a man that will stand to face the insecurity squarely, regardless of uh, where the person comes from. All the contestants can work if there is a good platform for them to work. Let me give you an example. Those who say that are not better Nigerians go to overseas and become better people. Why? Because the constitution is working, the laws are working. In as much as the law does not work very well here, even the next president might have problem because it is not working. So the platform for a better president is what we will have achieved. Are you getting my point? Yes. Have the entity, the people that are called Nigerians, have they come in time to say that they want to live together and how are we going to live together? This is the framework for the next president to come. I am not interested whether he's an Igbo man, whether he's a Fulani man, an Igbira man from Yoruba or from... I'm not interested. The point is that if there is no better platform, we cannot have a good president. For me, I want somebody that he has fears, he has fears of God. We need somebody that is, is strong, not that somebody that is weak, that whatever is going on, he, don't, he doesn't care. We don't want that of, we don't, we don't, we don't want that of, of, of president. Well, number one, the person should be a people-oriented person. Because we're in a country now that life has no value anymore. And then um, it's happening now. Then we we'll look at somebody, we'll be able to say, why is this thing happening? And then what can we do to resolve it? Because we, in this country, most of our leaders, they are after themselves. So they don't care about what happened to us, the citizens. So it's not about going to poll, getting um, little money and all of that. So just look for the person who is qualified to be the next president.